In today's video, we're going to clear up a big misconception that a lot of my senior clients have, especially those that are new to strength training, about sets and reps. So when I prescribe a strengthening exercise to many of my senior clients, I might have them do three sets of 10, and they'll come back and they'll tell me, well, I just did one set of 30, because isn't one set of 30 the same thing as doing three sets of 10? Well, I'm here to tell you it's not. And if you feel like you're not getting stronger and making strength gains, well, that could be a big part of it. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. First of all, if I'm able to do 30 reps of an exercise with a certain amount of weight, the weight can't be too much if I can do 30 repetitions and it's fairly easy and it's not very uncomfortable or anything. What I tell my clients is that if we're doing, for example, three sets of 10, those last few repetitions need to be a little bit challenging. And what I found is for that people, not just seniors, who haven't had a history of weight training, Sometimes it's difficult to gauge how intense it is. I'll have someone in the clinic do a few repetitions. I'll say, well, how did it feel? And they'll be like, well, I don't know, kind of, I guess kind of hard. Could you do more? Well, uh, I think so, probably. And so the intensity just isn't there. And remember, when it comes to weight training, it's all about intensity and time under tension. That's why when I prescribe three sets of 10, what I really want for my client is eight, nine, and 10 to be a little bit challenging so that there's no way they could do all 30 even if they wanted to. What I tell my clients is that weight training is a little bit uncomfortable if we work at the intensity that we need to actually build new muscle. So I'll tell my clients get comfortable being uncomfortable when it comes to lifting weights. And if they have no history of lifting weights, this is what I do. So I've got a set of five pounders and three pounders in the clinic. And this is a set of five pounders. And what I'll have them do is just do a simple bicep curl with good posture. And I'll ask them how it feels. And they'll be like, well, hopefully it feels fine. Doesn't hurt or anything like that. It feels fairly light. So I'll say, okay, keep doing some reps for me. I'm like, well, how many do you want me to do? I'm like, well, just keep going until, you know, until I tell you to stop. And let me know when you start to get a little bit of burn in the bicep. You know what? I'm starting to get a little bit of burn in the muscle. I'm like, good, okay, give me 10 more. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, go ahead and give me 10 more. I'm like, I can't give you 10 more. I'm like, sure you can. And they're working into that burn feeling. And that's maybe the first time they've ever felt that. And so the idea is I want them to feel what it feels like to get almost to fatigue. And they're like, oh boy, it's getting harder to lift. I'm like, good, give me five more. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, give me five more. And they're like, oh, wow. And they're slowing down and they're unable to quite do it. But then ah, I'm like, okay, stop right there. I'm like, Whew. okay, that's what I want reps eight, nine, and 10 to feel like. So what I basically have them do is go almost to full fatigue of that muscle. And like I said, for many people, that's the first time they've ever taken an exercise or an activity to almost full fatigue. Your biceps now are gonna be sore for a couple of days because you haven't worked them like that in a long period of time. But what it does is gives them the idea of the intensity that we need to actually build muscle and how it is a little face cringing and it is a little bit uncomfortable, but you know what? We can work through that a little bit because that's the kind of stress we need to put on the muscle if we want it to come back stronger. Now remember, we're not trying to push through pain, okay? If you get joint pain or something like that, please stop the exercise or modify it if you need to. But if you're not getting pain and you're just getting a little bit of fatigue and burn in the muscle, that's okay. Remember, get comfortable being uncomfortable. So if you're watching this at home and you've got some weights, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, start doing some bicep curls and just don't worry about the repetitions. Just keep going until you feel the burn in the muscle and then keep going. Keep working through that burn until you get to a point where those last few repetitions are actually pretty slow and pretty hard to get. And then I want you to remember what that feels like because that's the intensity that I want on all your strengthening exercises. Doesn't matter if you're doing squats or if you're doing tricep work or leg lifts or whatever it is that you're doing because that's the intensity we need to build muscle. Please feel free to share this video with any family or friends who might be weight training but maybe you're questioning whether they're working out the right intensity. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful so you never miss another one of my videos. Keep exercising, stay strong, and I'll see you with the next video.